Hi Aquarius. Um, let's get into it. I didn't really have any channel messages for you guys. There was no like feeling or song or anything that came to me. So I'm just clearing the energy and we're going to just light this Palo Santo and then we'll get right into the reading. Hope y'all are good. This is going to be for the week of July 8th. Yeah, no, July 25 through 31. So you might have still been carrying over some energy from last week. Because I was about to say July 18th. But we'll see what's going on. I think last week yours was really kind of interesting. Something to do with some drama. But we're not going to just bring that with us unless it pops up. Okay. So let's see. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, you might be dealing with a fire sign or just a really beautiful person, on the outside anyway. First, we have the Four of Wands, okay. Queen of Swords. Whew. Queen of Cups, lots of ladies here. What's really going on? I almost called you Sagittarius. They had an issue with multiple women as well, or multiple energies. Uh, are you a player from the Himalayas? Then we got three more, four more. You, sir, two, sir. Okay, so we have four of wands, queen of swords, queen of cups, page of wands, five of cups. Hmm. Somebody get found out? I'm hearing trapped in the closet in my head by that vile human being. That song, Knight of Swords right after that. And then we have, finally, the Three of Pentacles. It's definitely looking like some kind of a messy situation going on here. One second. Okay. I had to fix something. And then what's at the bottom of the deck for my Aquaria? Oh man. So we have the Page of Wands and we have the Page of Pentacles here at the bottom as the overall energy. So there could be some kind of a message coming in. There could also be a child. Two pages are here, fire sign, earth sign, possibly children, but I think some of one of these at least is a message. Some kind of message that's going to get someone in trouble. I hope it's not you, Aquarius. So maybe you're laying low or you were content with the four of, four of Wands here. No, Four of Swords, not Four of Wands. Four of Swords here. But for me to think Four of Wands, perhaps there is a home situation. So with these two queens here, I'm feeling that there's a masculine energy at the center of this reading. A masculine energy who is entertaining more than one woman. One who we may live with. Um, that may have been going on for some time, maybe four months, or it could be more new, like maybe a month long you've been seeing this person, but one is possibly an air sign or that's heavily aspected in their chart and one is a water sign or heavily aspected in their chart. One of these two energies has found out about the other. That's what it looks like and that's going to cause some spilt cups, some regret. This may have already happened in the past and you're feeling regret over it, but we're gonna clarify there may have been a child involved or the conception of a child. The Knight of Swords is here, like somebody rushed in to bring a message. Mm -hmm. About this Three of Pentacles situation. So maybe one person knew the whole time and the other person didn't, that they were in a third party situation. Yeah, let's clarify. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna take them all. So clarifying the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles. 
could have been somebody at your workplace. The nine of cups, somebody who's very independent, or you may be very independent by nature, and so you don't really take anyone seriously for some of you. You may just be in the player energy with people for most of the time because love is not your main focus. Or at least that's how you have been in the past at some point. Yeah, five, five. Oh wow, I just thought about Denzel Washington in training day when he's doing his gun like this. <laughs> like when he's giving that weird speech, clinking his guns together. So it's like, yeah, you like, who's gonna check me, boo? Or somebody's in that energy, like this is what I do. I love him, I leave him. I plot, I get out of there. It's like a routine. And you were happy with that shit. So you weren't taking something about this seriously. Huh. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. Possibly, it could be you or another person. So just if it doesn't resonate, then don't, don't take it, okay? What is this Queen of Cups doing here with this Page of Wands? The world. So maybe this is the person who delivered the message, the one who knew, possibly out of spite, they told another person that you're involved with um about your relationship with them Ooh, i see a fly right now that i've been trying to kill for like three days or at least get out of my apartment and it's just sitting there but i'm going to continue i feel like it's a distraction oh my goodness this would be the perfect time anyway so we have the six of wands here okay yeah so this person felt victorious in exposing whatever this is Something about your love life, your player ways. Maybe they were like, oh, girl, he's a player. Something like that. They did something really shady, conniving, that they figured was a ten of swords, and they were happy to do it. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, they went right ahead with that. No sweat off their back. But what's this five of cups doing here? Why is the five of cups here for Aquarius this coming week? I saw 727, I feel like somebody needs to look that up. Angel number 727 regarding whatever this is. So clarifying the Five of Cups, wow. We have the Page of Swords and the Sun. So whoever this person is, ooh, I wanna, who I wanna swat that fly so bad? Whoever this person is, they wanted to swat you. Yes, that's what I'm feeling. Page of Swords, they've been watching you. And they were like waiting for the moment to see you in the Five of Cups energy because this is clarifying the Five of Cups. That would bring them joy. I wonder that they received that. Yeah, they want truth to come to the situation. They're waiting for something to get exposed. Oh, there it goes. It flew away. May I have one more card on this five of club, clubs? <laughs> five of clubs. Maybe you met somebody in the club. King of Swords came out. Hmm, yeah, so this is you, Aquarius. <laughs> Maybe they're aggravated because you're not looking sad. Maybe to them, they, they can't see you in this negative energy, but they're looking for it. Hmm, and then the death card is here at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, yeah, they weren't wishing anything good for you. Can you see that? I think they're on this horse in this scenario. Right before I get to clarifying the Knight of Swords with Three of Pentacles, so let's go ahead and do that. Whoa. What came out here? Five of Pentacles again with the Six of Swords reversed. So maybe if they did try to expose you in some situation or with a person, with another person, that other person maybe was disappointed, but they're not leaving. So whatever this is, whatever they plan to do to, to knock you down with the Knight of Swords energy, it didn't work. It's like they only got a partial victory and they feel kind of salty about that. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's even more people here. There's like a ton of court cards that came out. So after the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Swords reverse, we have the Hierophant. Somebody might be married. This person who's trying to do this might be married. So why do they even care? Seven of Cups, maybe because they're not committed in their relationship. Are you dealing with a married person who's bitter and just wants to hurt you? Maybe you had an affair with this person in the past. I don't know. This sounds messy, Aquarius, but, you know, get it how you live. That's up to you. This person is having to be strong because your life is not ruined. They wanted that to happen. I feel like they really wanted you to have a tower moment, even though that, I don't see the tower here, but I feel like that's what they were hoping for. Yeah, but they were juggling too. So you may have been with this person at some time as a third party. You may have been with the married person who's bitter and trying to mess up your other relationships, even if you're just single and dating around because they don't want you to have anybody else. Mm, that's a little messy, Aquarius. What's really good? This could be somebody with fire heavily aspected in their chart. Somebody who feels like they're a princess, you know? They feel like they look good. The sun shines on them every day. So yeah, they may have wanted to manipulate the situation. But they might be with a water sign. But they're instead of paying attention to this person that they're with, they're paying attention to you. They're watching what's going on in your life. You may be at a distance from this person now. Hmm, that's a lot. It's quite petty. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Yeah, it's like a burden on them. Watching you. I don't even feel you being burdened by whatever got exposed if this person was successful in exposing you to someone else. I don't think you're burdened by it. Like you're like, I'm not committed to anyone. Hmm. Let's get some more on this Three of Pentacles specifically. Well, that was fast. Ten of Pentacles flipped out reversed. So upright, this would be like somebody's in a happy situation, but I don't see that. I see that this is just a, a messy situation. People all over the place, people cheating on their partners, people just dating around and somebody gets caught and they don't even really care. Oh, maybe this person's spouse found out what they've been doing. And so they're trying to get revenge on you, trying to seek justice, but then getting found out was justice because maybe this person had you on a string for a while. Maybe they had you on a string and you're not attached to them anymore. Could be a Libra that you're dealing with, a fellow air sign with the Queen of Swords having come out toward the beginning of the reading. Yeah, maybe you gave them money. Sounds a little bit like Capricorn's reading. They might've liked you for your financial status. You may be a business owner or you may just do well for yourself. They like that about you. They didn't wanna lose that. But now they're messing up their own home situation. If they're with an earth sign, maybe, or if there was somebody who takes care of them, that person ain't really feeling it no more. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Mm -hmm. Plot in the next steps. Watching, waiting, thinking about moving forward, moving on. So what is the point of all this? Like, um, <laughs> what's the point of all this? What does Aquarius need to know about this situation for the coming week? What does Aquarius need to know about this? Hmm. We have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Wands. So it's like maybe you're maybe you're gonna head toward a commitment with somebody someday. There might be somebody in your sights that you're thinking of, but it's not right now. There's no one in your energy right now that you're seeing this Pentacles energy with that you want to really commit to. And if you did, it's like this, this wands energy is more strong than that. You see the Knight of Wands is like sl slowly, steadily, humbly heading towards something. And then here's the King of Wands, or yeah, the Knight of Wands opposing him. The King is, um, I keep saying King. Yeah, this energy is stronger than this energy. You desire more Aquarius, it's, it feels like, to be in the Wands energy than the Pentacles energy. So yeah, I don't feel like you wanna, you wanna change anything about this situation right now. I think you're just content doing your thing. Even though there is an Ace of Pentacles here. 
but there, it seems like you're conflicted about that. And you're just gonna like put it to rest, perhaps. Starting out with this Four of Swords. See if anything else comes out, because I'm gonna move to the Oracles. Mm -hmm. Emperor with the moon, two major arcana, then with the ace of cups. This could be a really nice thing, or maybe you're secretly starting something new and this person is watching you waiting to see what you started because they have control issues and they just want to be able to have some kind of stake in your romantic life for some reason. That's a little weird in my opinion. But hey, maybe they did have control over you for a long time and that's hard for them to let go of. And maybe you're moving on to something new and you're trying to keep it a secret or you're starting something new and you're just not, yeah, you're just like, mm, nobody needs to know this. Hopefully it's not an affair still. Like hopefully you're not having an affair with a married person and you're just gonna continue to keep it going. But it's your life. I don't know, it's like I'm not really getting a clear result from this. Magician. Somebody could be trying to do some kind of manipulation to keep you in a situation. Why did the magician show its face? What do we need to know about this magician energy? That's Virgo energy. What do we need to know? What does Aquarius need to know about this magician energy? More Virgo energy. We got the hermit. Somebody from the past. Yeah, something that caused you to have to defend yourself, something you wanted, something you fought for. It could be that married person who's still watching you. They're either looking for clarity or they got clarity about what you're up to now and you got clarity that you don't want them anymore. But it seems like somebody might wanna reconcile and keep this affair going because they miss it. But they're not coming forward yet. They may be trying to manipulate the situation and like see how they can, with the magician coming out with this, it could be a Virgo, somebody who has heavy Virgo in their chart, or there's somebody that you're missing who has heavy Virgo in their chart. And you wanna go back to that for a new beginning and that's what you're not telling anyone. And you have other situations going on, possibly children involved, Aquarius. So you might be trying to figure out how to get out of a marriage or get out of a commitment so you can go toward this Virgo or whoever they are, you know, that carries a Virgo energy. So it's something that you're trying to manifest and put into action. Interesting. It's gonna require some balance. This person could also have Sagittarius in their chart or someone, because we did see the Queen of Wands in the beginning. And I did say that she was kind of a spoiled energy who may be married and thinks the sun only shines on her it may be that person that's trying to do some magic to keep you away from a Virgo, somebody who's having trouble letting go of you. Let's get some oracles. This sounds quite complicated. Ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. Yeah, so this is like something you may be thinking about commitment with one person and you're having trouble getting away from another situation. Or there is there is a marriage involved in this some way, shape, or form. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. So yeah, with the pages here, you might find out some information about something that went on here. Somebody trying to manipulate you. A journey, either physical or mental. Yeah, plus with the two of wands that we saw earlier, you might be trying to go towards somebody after realizing this. There's Virgo energy again, September. I mean, I'm not mad if you do have feelings for Virgo because I am a Virgo, so honestly, that's flattering. But be smart, Aquarius. Be smart. You know, if you have a marriage and children, just think about, you know, think about the consequences of your actions, okay? Do what's right for you, but... And we have chain. Ooh. Chain of events that will affect your life. So this may have already affected your life and you're realizing that now. So now you're thinking of going back to somebody 
or you know this person might be trying to take money from you if you leave them yeah warning you have a problem now or in the future yeah somebody might try if you go toward this person that you really want who is in this earth energy they may not be a virgo but they could just embody a virgo energy somebody's gonna be pissed they might cause they might try to cause you financial problems why can't aquarius just get a little peace what's going on what else does Aquarius need to know from the tea leaf oracle? This is the other half of the deck. It's quite a large oracle deck. All right, we got to one second, something fell. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So perhaps this other person, this, this earth energy that you want to go toward, it's somebody you could build with, create with. And same if you're a woman, if you're a feminine energy, there's somebody that you want to go toward that will help you build legacy finances, but it seems like you're tied up in a situation that you need to get out of or that you want to get out of. So you're going to have to decide what's best for you. And I feel like I need to pull another oracle for you. Mm, let's pull an ancestral and spirit guide oracle for this situation. What does Aquarius need to know from the ancestors and spirit guides about this situation? Ah, you're about to meet the reason why you couldn't settle. Either this earth energy is going to meet someone and you're regretting that you let this person go, or you're about to meet someone and this married bitch who is still stalking you is gonna be upset about it because she's been trying to block your new beginnings, possibly with some kind of magic but she's not being very successful, you're seeing through it. Hmm. Let's just see if we can get one more card from the ancestors and the spirit guides. All right. Mixed signals, mixed, um, <laughs> mixed signals, mixed, why do I keep saying that? Mixed signals yield mixed results. Maybe this person is mixed in some way that, you're, that you wanna go toward. Make sure you are clear about what you're attracting. So there's a need for you to get clear, Aquarius, on what it is that you want. If you're cross-watching, because I do feel a little bit of a cross-watcher vibe here, same goes for you. You're being nudged to finish what you started. Stop putting off, stop putting it off because that completion will unlock the next level for you. So there's something that you, you want to accomplish and Getting that done, if you've been stalling on it, is going to help you move forward in this. Your ancestors are telling you to reach out to them and your spirit guides are as well if you need to. Don't be afraid to pray, okay? Call out to them. Even if you don't know their names, just say a prayer. You know, say that you need the help of your spirit guides. You need the help of the angels that surround you with love and support. You need the help of your ancestors. They will be there. Okay? Let them know what it is you want very clearly. So you need to decide on that. This is a bit confusing, Aquarius. So I hope that it made sense to somebody out there. Um, it seems like a little bit of a specific reading. I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you back soon. Bye.